All right, guys, you are about to see my first ever attempt to draw a ceiling fan in one point perspective. This is not an easy thing to do. It is doable, um, and a lot of it is just kind of eyeballing. There's not a ton of like vanishing point lines that you'll use. A lot of it's just eyeballing. So I've got here um, a picture of a ceiling fan pulled up. So I would definitely pull up a picture on your iPad to kind of use as reference. And then I'm gonna use my ruler just to kind of give myself some guidelines of where to draw. So I'm gonna start with my vanishing points and it should be about like right here. So I'm putting in just some lines right here. Again, just to kind of give myself a space to draw in. It's actually probably a little bit too big. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller than that. So I don't want it to be a giant ceiling fan. Okay, so something like that. And this, if you were looking at it, if you were laying on the floor looking up, this would be a perfect rectangle. Because it's in one point perspective, it is a trapezoid. But if you were looking straight up at it, it would be a perfect rectangle. So this is gonna be like where I fit the ceiling fan in. So that way I can make sure that it's kind of getting smaller at the back and bigger at the front. So I'm gonna look at my picture here. Um, and just some kind of things I'm going to point out in here. You need somewhere that it attaches to the ceiling, sort of the base, and then the little petals that come off of it, and then possibly some lights if you want some lights. So I'm going to start here and put in the part where it attaches to the ceiling. And then the part that the petals are coming off of is kind of just like a, a circle, but in one point perspective, circles kind of turn into ovals so go like that. I'm going to draw this part coming down. And I'm going to add the little lights to it. Okay, so there's kind of the base of it. I want a little bit crooked. Let's make that come out. That's better. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna add the petals. The main thing you don't want to do, you don't want to just like have your ceiling fan and then have petals just coming out like this because that would be how it looks if you are laying on the floor looking up at it. But because you're not doing that, you're looking at it from an angle, the petals are gonna be a lot more angled. They're not gonna stick straight out. So again, looking at my reference image, I'm gonna kind of base the angle on that. Okay, so there I have something that vaguely resembles a ceiling fan. It's not perfect. You could probably spend a little bit more time on it than I did here um, and make something a little bit nicer, but that's kind of the basic gist of it. You'll have some petals kind of going a little bit more flat in the back, and then you'll have some kind of sticking a little bit more up in the front, but the best advice I can give you is to find a photo and use that to help you figure out which direction the petals should go.